Hey guys, today I think I'm going to have a little fun. I'm off today. It's a Saturday afternoon here in the U.S. And I think I want to play maybe some video games or, you know what, maybe watch a movie or two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Telnet here on my newly installed Antics. I installed Antics on my main production machine about five days ago. So pull up a terminal, sudo apt, install Telnet, and I'm going to go ahead and log into ardmud.org, that is Telnet space A-A-R-D-M-U-D dot org. Uh, the name of this game is called Ardwolf Mud. I actually have a website. If you actually opened up the ardmud.org website in Firefox, you, you have a website. You could go read a little bit about Ardmud. Uh, I don't really know anything about the game. Um, this is my first time logging into it, so I thought I'd share a little bit of Ard Mud here. So, what be thy name? I'm going to go with DT. That name is not usable. Somebody else is already using DT, so how about DistroTube? DistroTube is not known here. Create this character? Sure. We need a password for DistroTube. Okay, well, I'll create a password here. All right, this section will determine whether or not you see colors while playing. I want colors. So color test, yep. Oh, yeah, the colors look good. Please choose your primary class. So I guess this is some, some kind of role-playing game. I have the option of being a mage, a warrior, a thief, a ranger, PSI, I'm not sure what that is, paladin, or cleric. I'm going to go with the first option, mage. All right. Choose your subclass. Do I want to be an elementalist, which is a master of the elements, an enchanter? Uh, enchanters are able to magically alter and enhance many things. Or do I want to be a sorcerer, specialized in sorcery and witchcraft? Yeah. Oh, oh I can't do a backspace? No, I guess not. Okay. Choose your race. Do I want to be a centaur, a dark elf, a diva, a dwarf, a giant, a halfling, human, lizard man, shadow, triton, troll, or wolfen? Hmm. Dark elf. All right. Choose your sex. So male or female. We'll go male. What is your email address? Uh, I'm not going to enter that. Not on camera. Uh, one last question. This will help the game customize some of your options. Do we have little or no experience with MUDs? Are we experienced or are we an experienced Ard Wolf player? I have no experience, so I'm going to choose one. All right, congratulations, DistroTube. You've completed character creation. Press return to continue. All right, so now I'm ready to play a little bit of Ard Wolf. I'm not going to do this on camera, but if I wanted to go through this game, it actually looks like a pretty neat game. And the thing about Telnet is if you like these kind of terminal-based, text-based games, these really old-school games, like, you know, if you grew up in the 80s like I did, you know, you played a, a lot of these uh, text-based games. It's really, really cool. If you're into retro gaming, there are a million of these Tilnet games out there. I'll, uh, I'll link to a few of them in the description. But you know what? For now, I'm going to go ahead and exit the game, and I'm going to come back to it later because I feel like I want to watch a movie. So I'm going to type quit here in the terminal, and that kills that connection. And let me clear the screen here. And the movie I think I want to watch is Star Wars. Star Wars is one of my favorite movies, one of the best movies ever made. I think I'm just going to go ahead and watch, uh, watch Star Wars here in the terminal using Telnet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and enter this Telnet command here, Telnet space towel.blinkinlights.nl. Gonna hit enter on that. All right. Then you know the guy that created this particular ASCII art version of Star Wars, asking for some credit here. The IPv6 version has extra scenes, so if you want to experience ASCII art to its fullest, you should get IPv6. Okay. All right. We get the 20th Century Fox logo. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Yep, Star Wars. Episode 4, A New Hope.
this movie has really stood the test of time too. Just as good now as it was back in, what was it, 1976 or 77 when this came out. And of course, we get our little scrolling text here. Of course, we get the Death Star. Wow. We got the, uh, the ship. Of course, we got a Star Destroyer. Well, this is moving along pretty fast. You could barely read the text at this speed. I wonder if there's a way to slow this down. Wow, I'm still checking out this movie. This is really amazing. Somebody created this thing in ASCII art. Of course, the escape pod was just launched. There's no life forms in that space pod. That's funny. The damage doesn't look as bad from out here. Hmm. So we got R2 and C3PO. Anyway, this was a, a little bit of what you can do in Telnet, guys. Uh, I just wanted to share this with you. I, I will link to the ASCII art Star Wars film. I will link to the Ardwolf game. And I'll, uh, I'll link to a few other uh, Telnet games you guys should check out. Peace, guys. Peace, guys.